the twelfth cranial nerve is the hypoglossal nerve. Its nucleus, as we stated in earlier parts of this demonstration, is in the medulla or bulb of the brain stem. It, supplies the, it is the nerve supply to the tongue. So it's straightforward enough, but so long as you remember, as I've said on a number of occasions, that the tongue is a muscle, therefore it must be observed at rest. You must look for wasting, fasciculations, look at its movement, and even indeed test its power. So if I could ask you to open the mouth wide, please, Danica, and you look at it at rest in the first instance. And what I'm looking for here are jumpiness or fasciculations of the tongue. And sometimes it's hard to tell, but it's usually, don't overcall it is what I would advise. So in other words, if you see fasciculations, excellent, they're there or... And if you don't, don't overcall it. Don't be in too much doubt. If then you see it's wasted, you say, oh, it's wasted on one side of the tongue or the not, or, or the other. And then you ask the patient then to say, can you stick out your tongue straight, please? And if the tongue deviates to one side or the other, you must step back a fraction just to say, does the tongue deviate or not? And back in, thanks. If, for example, Donica sticks out his tongue and the tongue deviates to the right-hand side, the twelfth nerves come from the hypoglossal foramina and supply both sides of the tongue. So if Donica had damaged for some reason his right twelfth nerve at nuclear level, at foraminal level or elsewhere, then the nerve supply into the right side of his tongue is lost, of course. So when he goes to stick out his tongue, the tongue will deviate to the side of the lesion because it's pushed over by the functioning left-hand side. Now, the other thing you can test is coordination. So dysarthria, as you'll find out later, is a difficulty with articulation which may be due to cerebellar disorders and other disorders, but it can be simply due to something wrong with your lips or with your uh, palate or with your tongue. So you ask people to go oh, 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 like that. So side to side, if you could move your tongue to look at coordination. Side to side, as quick as you can. Yeah, thanks very much. They don't feel great about it, but uh, at the same token, it, it, looks, it, it does help to see the rapidity of movement, which can be altered in cerebellar disorders in particular. And then finally, if you want to just test one more thing, you can test strength. Don't usually do it, but you ask them to put their tongue into their cheek and push against my hand, and then on the other side. Not absolutely necessary, but just to finish it off and make sure you've covered all angles before you say that you've finished the examination of the 12th nerve.